Welcome back my exotic family and today we're going to be delving into the murky and swampy waters of the coastal plain and learning about one exotic venomous reptile that is pretty common down here in Georgia. This is the water moccasin so make sure you guys stay tuned for a pretty awesome video. So the water moccasin is scientifically known as the Echisodon piscivorus, also commonly referred to as the cottonmouth. And it's one of North America's most iconic venomous snakes. Found primarily in the southeastern United States, this species has garnered attention for its semi-aquatic lifestyle and distinct defensive behaviors. So we're going to have a pretty comprehensive scientific overview of the water moccasin for today's video. So the water moccasin is a venomous pit viper that inhabits wetlands, marshes, swamps, rivers, and other freshwater environments, and its aggressive reputation though often exaggerated, contributes to the notoriety in popular culture, despite its fearsome appearance and behavior. This species plays a vital role in local ecosystems. Water moccasins are typically heavy-bodied snakes reaching lengths of two and a half to six feet long, and the average adult is around three to four feet long. They're usually brown, olive, or black, with darker crossbands on their bodies, though juveniles often display a more vivid pattern which fades with age. One of the most notable features is the white cotton-like interior of their mouth, which they display as a defense mechanism, hence the nickname Cottonmouth. Their heads are triangular, typical of pit vipers, and they have distinctive heat-sensing pits between their eyes and nostrils, which allows them to detect prey even in the dark. Water moccasins are commonly found near bodies of water such as ponds, lakes, swamps, and rivers, and they're excellent swimmers and can be found both in and out of water. In fact, they are one of the few venomous snakes that regularly swim on the surface of the water. As opportunistic feeders, water moccasins have a varied diet. They prey on fish, amphibians, small mammals, birds, and even other reptiles. They are capable of hunting in water and on land using their heat sensing pits to help them locate their prey. Water moccasins are ovoviviparous, meaning that females give birth to live young, typically in the late summer or early fall. A litter can contain between five and 20 offspring, which are independent from birth. The venom of the water moccasin contains a potent mixture of enzymes that breaks down tissues, aiding in both digestion and immobilization of prey. Although the venom is less toxic than that of some other pit vipers, it can still be dangerous to humans. Bites typically result in intense pain swelling, and tissue damage, but fatalities are rare if treated properly. While water moccasins have a reputation for being aggressive, they are more likely to flee or defend themselves when threatened. When cornered, they may display a wide open mouth showcasing their cotton mouth warning. In contrast to popular belief, they do not actively seek out humans, but will strike if provoked or stepped on. As both predator and prey, water moccasins play a crucial role in their ecosystems. They help control populations of small mammals and aquatic creatures, while also serving as prey for larger predators like birds of prey, alligators, and some larger mammals. Currently, water moccasins are not listed as endangered. They have a stable population across much of their range, although habitat destruction, pollution, and human conflict pose threats. Due to their presence in regions frequented by humans, they are often killed on site, despite their important role they play in the ecosystem. In conclusion, the water moccasin is a fascinating and essential part of the southeastern U.S. ecosystem. Although they can be dangerous to humans, they are an integral predator that helps maintain the balance of their environment. And understanding the natural behavior of this often misunderstood snake is key to appreciating its role in nature. When treated with respect and caution, encounters with the water moccasin can be safely managed. 